apostle begins by telling us he was a sent one called to be sent now when we normally call someone we call them to come don't we he says I've been called to go and in this day when we speak a great deal about commitment I fear we often miss the point of the New Testament that it is not necessary for me to be committed to the work for the work has already been committed to me. I don't have to sign myself in. My friend, when you trust Christ as your Savior, included in that is the responsibility we bear to go. Oliver was a ungodly young man, and he noticed there was a, a man in his community who had changed drastically, and he went and asked him what had happened. And the man said, well, why do you ask? He said, well, I notice you don't whip your horses anymore. I wonder if some people could tell we got saved by the way we drive. Well, that was the case with this man, and ultimately he led this young fellow to the Lord. Oliver began to preach and uh, went to a town, Garnavilla, Iowa. They were preaching on the street, and they were invited to the home of a woman who was in uh, the large church system that dominates that area. She invited them to her home for tea one afternoon, and when they got there, they found the minister of this church uh, waiting for them. So they got into a discussion, and uh, as a result, there was more heat than light, and uh, this fellow actually knocked the Bible out of Oliver's hand. So they, they left in disgrace. They felt so terrible. They had come to preach the gospel, and they got into a knockdown dragout, and uh, they weren't too happy about it. And the next day they went back to say they were sorry to this lady. And she said, oh, please come in. She said, I've been waiting for you. She said, I want to get saved. They said, what? <laughs> she said, I saw that our minister didn't have anything. He didn't have the truth. This is the word of God and I want to be saved. And so they began having gospel meetings, first in her home and then in a rented building. For over a year, they preached the gospel. And then Brother Oliver traveled through that area, visiting all of the relatives of those who had been converted. And so he reached out into that area. And with other helpers, uh, the Midwest, there are 42 listed assemblies in the state of Iowa today. I trust the Lord will stir our hearts to reach out in the gospel. Called to be sent.